If college were a video game, a major would be like the main storyline. Sure, there are plenty of side quests, surprises, and achievements to earn, but a major gives us an overall route where we take classes to reach significant plot points and checkpoints and save points, hopefully lots of save points. It's a major choice and a pretty important one. So students tend to put a lot of thought into it. That can be a hard thing to figure out on your own. Spending too much time in a major that isn't the right fit for you can waste time and money. Luckily, you have us. Hi, I'm Erica Brzozowski and this is Crash Course How to College, a study hall series presented in partnership with Arizona State University. Today, we're going to talk about how to decide what to dedicate your entire life to. Just kidding. That would probably take a lot longer than 10 minutes. But we are going to talk about how to decide what to spend your college life doing. In college, there are hundreds, sometimes even thousands of different classes to choose from. So with such a long list of possibilities, colleges build in some structure to help us wade through and create our own unique journeys. For instance, most colleges require students to pick a major, which is a student's intended area of study. When we choose a major, we take a set of classes that help us specialize our knowledge in a particular discipline, field, career, or skill set. Our major becomes a guide for what classes we take and where and how we spend our time. In fact, a major is really what we get a degree in. So on our diplomas, it might say bachelors of linguistics or associates in nursing. Like my major was linguistics. So I focused on English sociolinguistics and learned skills and knowledge that I could use in a future career. And this is true for all different types of majors. Finance majors learn to analyze budgets and investment strategies. English majors learn to write persuasively and interpret texts. And computer science majors learn to code and use software to solve problems. Ultimately, a major is an investment of our time. Even before starting college, you'll probably hear the question, what are you studying all the time? And it's totally okay to say, I'm not sure yet. A lot of people start college without knowing what they want to major in. And there's nothing wrong with taking some time to weigh our options. In fact, some departments already have suggested classes for first year students. Some engineering programs, for example, may want new students to take calculus so they know what to expect later on. And some students select a desired major on their application, but it's normal to remain undeclared for our first one or two semesters of full-time enrollment. In academic speak, being undecided means that you haven't yet declared a major, which is when you yell your favorite subject as loud as you can from your window. Just kidding. Declaring a major actually usually just means formally telling the college what path you plan on taking by submitting some paperwork. But even if you do shout it from the rooftops, don't worry, your major isn't necessarily set in stone. Many students switch majors when they change their career plans or simply change their mind. In fact, about a third of students end up switching majors. So pivoting is not unusual in college, but you should still think about the options because it's not always possible to switch just like that. At four-year colleges, switching your path late in the game might mean having to stay for extra semesters, and extra semesters means extra dollars. And trade schools often specialize in degree programs or certificates for a set of careers. So if you start out wanting to be a chef and enroll in culinary school, but then you decide your passion was really heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, that's gonna be tricky, but not impossible with planning. Community colleges can also provide several different routes. One option is to enroll as a degree-seeking student and earn an associate's degree in an area of study. But we could also enroll to take college-level courses without committing to a degree. In either case, it's possible for students to transfer from community college to a four-year institution and save the progress they've made so far. When a student transfers or switches schools, they can often use the credits they earned at their previous school to satisfy requirements at their next one. These are called transfer credits. For students undecided on a career path, the transfer track at a community college can be a great option as it gets lots of required classes out of the way. Plus, you can get acquainted with the experience of taking college-level classes before you declare a major. However, the sooner you know where you'd like to transfer, the sooner you know which courses will transfer for credit. Generally, public schools are more accepting of credits earned elsewhere than private schools. But no matter where you go, choosing a major can require lots of reflection and planning. Sometimes our career plan points us in the right direction. Like if you want to become a software engineer, the computer science major is likely pretty high on your list. But some of us are not yet sure what career we want to pursue and some careers don't require us to choose one specific major at all. Many first-year students are surprised to learn that pre-med and pre-law aren't themselves majors, but programs to make sure you take all the required classes for med or law school that can be done with virtually any major. So it's worth thinking through your choices.